Often I have been asked by students, what are the most important criteria to think about in terms of planning a lifelong career? A while ago, I came up with the acronym CIVIL. CIVIL stands for your competencies, interests, values, income needs, and lifestyle preferences. These are the five most important things to think about. The C stands for your competencies. In other words, what are your top 10 skills that you can bring to any employer? Employers want to hire you because you're going to create some kind of value for them, and that's what they're looking for. So as long as you know what your skills are and you can communicate that to employers, you will be in demand. The I in civil stands for your interests. Make a list of your top 10 interests in life and see what industries those interests lead you to. For example, if you're interested in the movies, perhaps working in a studio in Hollywood in some capacity might be of interest. The V in civil stands for your values. It's very important that your values align with the values of the company and organization that you're working for. Whether it's the company's values or corporate culture, they should be somehow aligned to what your values are. So think about that. So if you value working in a company that emphasizes work-life balance, then that's something that you might really enjoy. Whereas if you are very concerned about the environment and the company does not have an environmental policy, that may be contrary to your values. So think about your values. They're important. As for income, the I stands for income in, in civil, and that is something very important to you because you need to be able to afford to live in life. I recommend having three distinct budgets to plan for your future work. One is a bare bones budget. What can you absolutely afford to live off of? What's a middle budget, which is a little bit more affordable for you? And what is a great budget in terms of a salary that you would find? So those are three goals that are really good to keep in mind so that you know what kinds of positions to target, but also you can see throughout your life where you're progressing in terms of what your value is. So that's very, very important. Finally, the L stands for lifestyle. The work you do often dictates the people that you meet, the associates that you have at work, and also where you shop, where you live, what kinds of recreational opportunities are available to you. So that's a very important consideration. So if you love surfing, you don't want to be in the deserts of Arizona. Think about what it is that your lifestyle needs and try to find that along with your career. So keep in mind CIVIL. CIVIL stands again for your competencies, your interests, your values, your income, and lifestyle needs. So if you keep those in mind, that'll be a great guide for you as you build and design your future career. Good luck.